What is going on my fellow Halo fans? It is your boy Patman here back again with another video detailing an update about Halo Reach and some of its launch options that 343 has gone over recently including what kind of playlists you guys can expect when Halo Reach finally launches. And we still don't have a release date yet, which is unfortunate, but this is really the first time that 343 has been pretty open about what to expect from the launch of the game on PC. So I wanted to give you guys an update video on those playlist options and a couple of other things. So if you guys enjoy these videos, keeping you guys up to date on Halo news, go ahead and click that like button for me. It lets me know that you guys enjoy this content and that you want to see more of it. And if you guys are new here to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. And in return, I will keep you guys updated on all the latest happenings in the world of Halo. Without further ado, let's get started on the video. So first things first, 343 is actually detailed cross-play and cross-progression. There will be cross-play between the Windows 10 Store version and the Steam version of the game on PC. And they are aware that Xbox and PC people want that as a option, but it is something that they're going to monitor and evaluate over time, so that is not coming at launch. But they did go out and say that they acknowledge that people want that. I'm gonna show you guys this diagram on the screen right now you guys could pause the video if you want to take a look but it really shows how cross progression works across pc and council some of the main things i'll go over is mission completion will be carried over from xbox to pc but if you do like a mid-mission checkpoint it's not going to transfer over so if you stop in the middle of a mission want to pick it up on pc after playing on xbox that is not going to work it will start you over from the beginning of the mission it also details playlists and how those are affected by the cross progression and for all those wondering my achievement hunters out there achievements will carry over through all three versions of the game so do not worry so your account level and your rank progression which is really important as well as achievements that's going to carry over your leaderboards your stats all that stuff but if you guys want to pause the video take a look at this diagram it gives you all the information you need to know i don't want to go over all of it just to keep the video nice and short for you guys on to the playlist that we can expect at launch for halo reach and MCC. So as far as social games go, there's going to be 1v1 matchmaking, which is going to be Slayer as the game type, and the settings will be Hardcore, which is zero bloom, no sprint. There's going to be Team Doubles, which is Slayer, Flag and Bomb, Zone Control, and Asset Denial with the title update settings. There will be 4v4 matchmaking, including Slayer, Flag and Bomb, Zone Control, Asset Denial, Action Sack, SWAT, Snipers, and Griff Ball which will have the title update settings except for Griffball, which will have the vanilla reach settings. There will be eight player FFA matchmaking with Slayer, Zone Control, Asset Denial, Action Sack, SWAT, and Snipers with the title update settings. And there will be 12 player free for all matchmaking, which is of course Infection with the vanilla reach settings. And finally for social 8v8 matchmaking, which will have Slayer, Flag and Bomb, Zone Control, Acid Denial, Action Sack, and Snipers, all with the title update settings. As far as competitive ranked playlists, you're gonna have Halo Reach, Team Hardcore, of course, Zero Bloom, No Sprint, based on the MLG V7 settings, and that's gonna feature Hardcore Slayer, Hardcore CTF3, Hardcore CTF5, and Hardcore King. And the other ring playlist, like I've said before, is going to be Invasion with the vanilla reach settings. So we'll have Bloom, you know, armor locks, not changed any of that stuff. As far as Firefight goes, there's going to be Heroic, Firefight Limited, and Firefight Arcade for those interested in that. Now they did go ahead and detail the kind of PC specific settings and also the armor customization and season unlocks. But I'm going to go over that in a different video. Keep a lookout for that this weekend, guys. I'm going to put out a video showing you guys all the armors and things and kind of talk about the season progression. And if you guys are wondering, well, will I be able to run Reach on my PC? I'm going to show you guys another diagram here that goes over all the CPU, GPU, RAM, and how the average FPS for those things would be for the minimum specifications for PC. So you guys can take a look at that and see if you can run it. On my PC, the game runs flawless. Absolutely gorgeous, 4K, like 200 frames. I mean, it is almost a 10 year old game, so it's really not that demanding. So hopefully you guys can run it. 
I've had friends running it on laptops and stuff, so it's not that demanding. And I could even stream and play this game in 4K, which not many games allow me to do. So definitely well optimized, definitely feels good, definitely looks beautiful. And I hope you guys can run it. I hope you guys get to enjoy Halo who haven't before enjoyed it because uh, it's coming to a whole new platform. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Keep a lookout for that armor customization and the settings video coming up this weekend and I will also do a video later next week on my impressions of the flight for PC since it was the first one that I've been a part of. But thank you guys so much. Hope to catch you guys on the next video. Click that like button, subscribe for me, and I will see you guys next time. I'm your boy Patman and I'm out.